Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this week's episode, we are going to review this brand new 1000 watt pure sine wave portable power station from Okmo. So stay tuned. Now everywhere we've lived, they like to quip, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. And that's never been so true as it is here in Salt Lake City where we spend our winters. Uh, just over the weekend, it was sunny and in the upper 70s. We were having a wonderful little barbecue with friends outside. Today, we've got the leading edge of a snowstorm moving in that's gonna deliver one to two feet in the mountains just above us and up to half a foot here in the Salt Lake Valley. So we've gone from spring to early summer right back into winter and that's kind of squashed our plans for filming this episode. We wanted to introduce you to this portable power station outdoors. However, the weather is not allowing us to film so we're going to film this episode right here inside our RV. And we're going to be getting out of here in just a few weeks to resume our travel episodes here at Grand Adventure. But in the meantime, it does give us the opportunity to showcase some interesting and exciting new products for your camping life. And this definitely meets that category. So what is a portable power station? A portable power station is just one box that happens to contain a lithium battery bank, a power inverter, and a solar charge controller, all in one convenient package. This one has a pure sine wave inverter that handles up to 1,000 watts continuous and up to 2,000 watts surge rating. So how would you use one of these portable power stations? Think about any time you are away from a reliable supply of AC or DC power. Think about car camping, tent camping, or camping in your RV. Think about tailgating. Think about if you were using power tools away from your house. Think about if your power went out at your home and you needed to power some of your appliances for a while until the power came back up. Think about in your RV, an extra backup source of power, a way to power your CPAP machine overnight, or even an outdoor power source while you're sitting outside relaxing. This does seem to be a very well-made unit. It has an aluminum uh, casing rather than a plastic casing as many of its competitors does. The Ogmo G1000 has a 1,110 watt hour battery capacity to keep your appliances running for a good long time. Let's start with the outputs on the front of the panel here. We have three USB-A outputs, including one that's rated for Quick Charge 3.0. That's compatible to quickly charge a lot of the modern mobile devices available today. Just above it is a USB-C port that's rated for power delivery at up to 60 watts to be able to quickly recharge many modern laptops. Right over here is a 12 volt uh, DC car plug or a, for a cigarette lighter plug to be able to power 12 volt devices that way, as well as two little outlets right here that are compatible for DIY plugs that you may want to uh, solder or attach to cables to some of your other 12 volt devices. Over here is the AC side. Here you'll find three pure wet sine wave AC outlets. Uh, they will automatically shut off after about 30 to seconds with no load to be able to protect the batteries. Now, typical run times for this device, it'll power a coffee maker for nearly an hour and a half. It'll power a typical television for about 13 hours. A MacBook Pro can be fully recharged eight times with this device thanks to its large battery capacity. And it'll even run your CPAP machine overnight for 17 hours. That'll give you two full nights without having to recharge the G1000. You'll sometimes hear these portable power stations referred to as solar generators. Honestly though, I really don't like that term because it doesn't accurately describe what these things do. The best way to think of it is a device to store power to use later. And there are actually 
four different ways to repower this device, including solar. The most obvious way to recharge the G1000 is by using 110 volt household power. That'll take you about 10 hours to recharge this from zero to 100%. Now you can actually shave about an hour off of that time by using instead a 12 volt car plug. And that would be really useful if you're traveling to your next destination or if you're out exploring for the day, you can use that time productively to recharge your portable power station while you're out and about. You can also use the power delivery. The USB-C port is both ways, in and out. So you can charge it up to 60 watts over power delivery via a USB-C cable. Or finally, and ironically the quickest way, is to use solar via these Anderson connectors. We actually had this hooked up to two 100 watt portable power panels, solar panels over the weekend, and it did a wonderful job. It'll actually charge from zero to 100% with 200 watts of solar in approximately six hours. We've been using the G1000 all week for testing, but now for filming purposes, let's grab one of the biggest power hogs I've got, and that's my coffee maker. And we're going to use this to brew ourselves a small pot of coffee running purely off the G1000 power station. I uh, hope you like my Darth Tater mug from Spud Wars up in Idaho. Anyway, uh, you know, this would be a fabulous way if you only occasionally boondock rather than set up an entire 3000 watt whole house inverter and 1200 watts of solar like we've done on our roof. This would be a great way to power some of your selective appliances while you're boondocking for the night. Um, we're going to let this coffee pot run for a moment and come back and uh, see how the power station does brewing us a small pot of coffee. Okay, so now the pot of coffee is done. You can hear the fan has kicked on the cooling fan because that was a large load uh, for this to be able to handle. Uh, but you can also see it hasn't put any dent in our battery meter whatsoever. But uh, let's have ourselves... Oh, fan just kicked off. Seeing as how the coffee's now done. And there's our pot of coffee made entirely from the G1000 power station. Ogmo also makes an even bigger version of this portable power station at 2000 watts. However, we found that the size, portability, and weight of the G1000 was the perfect compromise to its power capabilities to suit our needs. In fact, we've enjoyed so much testing out and using the G1000 this week that not only are we going to put a link down below in the video description, but we're also going to list the G1000 in our Grand Adventure Shop on Amazon. Realize that we only put products that we use ourselves and love in our Grand Adventure Shop on Amazon. So you can purchase there knowing full well that we're happy with the product before you go ahead and order it. It costs you no more to shop Amazon through the Grand Adventure Shop. However, Grand Adventure does receive a small commission on each purchase that helps to defray the cost of bringing you more and better videos each and every week. So before we get back on the road to resume our travel adventures, if you are not yet a Grand Adventurer, this is the perfect time. Go smash that little red subscribe button right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a great adventure each and every Wednesday. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. But understand, it's extremely important to us that if you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, why not leave us a comment in the comment section because we always love to hear from you. So until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.